Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Harika. So in today's video, I am going to talk about the latest features or the new activities that have become a part of UiPath Studio with 23.10 release. So now without any ado, let's get into the video. And one of the feature is like, you know, I really liked the feature because earlier it was uh, quite a different process to download a particular file so i'll talk more about it as we go through in the video so let's get into the video and see what are those two new activities that have added as a part of the uipath activities set of activities and what how we can use them in our particular workflows yeah so first activity is download download file from url that means let's say if there's a particular URL, okay, so there's a particular application. So from this application, if you wanted to download this Excel file. So earlier it was a different process, right? So we used to download this and then we used to go into the download uh, tab or where it is, uh, you know, the default download location. And from there we have to move the file. And now it's quite simple. We just have to use this activity. And I will show you how we can do that. We just have to use this activity. Let me take a new sequence. So I'm going to pull up this download file from URL. Okay. So here I just have to provide the URL. So let's say if I'm using this particular uh, Excel to download. So just give a right click copy link address and paste it over here. Okay. So you would get your file, which, which you want to download it. Okay. And what is the other thing that you have to provide? Save file as, I mean, the location, okay? Save file as, provide a custom file name. What is the file name that you wanted to save it to, right? So I would provide... Um, challenge file okay and then if file already exists we will auto rename otherwise we'll either replace or don't replace so these are the options you can select you can replace the file if it already exists because we can all always download the latest file that comes from that particular website okay and this is a downloaded file if you wanted to use it somewhere else in the you know, execution, you can use it over there. Okay. And now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put a log message to just see the process in the debug mode. Okay. So just put a breakpoint here. So the requirement is clear. I just wanted to download this challenge.xlsx from RPA challenge. Okay, this is the file that I wanted to download. So let me do the debugging. Okay, let's go to the project and check it over here. Okay, challenge file dot xlsx. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to see the content of it. Right, perfect. This is same as what we have it in the this particular Excel. So perfect. This is very easy and quite simple to download right so if you like this activity do let me know in the comments and also try to include this in, to, into your workflows this will save a lot of time and also it's very promising the next and what is the other activity what is the other activity that has included into 23.10 so next activity is combine text okay this is for inside the formatting okay so if you see let me formatting so if you remember we have seen these 
uh activities which have been part of formatting in the previous videos which is a part of 23.6 release 23.4 release and all of that as a part of my youtube uh, channel so you can also check out those videos so if you're wondering how to check out those videos and where you can find those videos let me quickly guide you how you can reach there and check them out just type in my name and you can go to my youtube channel there's a lot of stuff on my channel you can find. Just select videos. And here you can find all the videos, right? So here you can see 23.6 update, which will, I'll uh, talk a lot about uh, regex, how you can, you know, simplify using this formatting functions and all. And also you can find a lot of videos around 23.4 release as well. Um, let me show you where you can find that. Yeah, a lot of videos on UI platforms, which is a 22.4 release and all of that. Okay, so now you can go check out those videos if you wanted to learn more about the formatting activities that has been recently included as a part of 23.6 release and 23.8 release. Okay, so now let's coming back to 23.10. So we have combined text activity. Okay, so what this activity basically do is it combines the text from a collection. So let's say if you have given a collection and if you provide what is a collection over here, it will help you to combine all of them. Okay, so now let's go simple, basic. So firstly, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a variable. So let's create the variable here. str first name. Okay. And this next one is str last name. Okay. So I'm going to give my first name here. Okay. And my last name here. Done. So what's my collection now? My collection is str first name. You have to give the variables. Okay. And str last name. Done. I have provided the input. And now how you wanted to combine the separator, right? So let's say if you wanted to combine first name, space, last name. So you can provide that. You can select it from here. Okay. This is space, first name, space, last name. So you can do that in this way. Otherwise, if you wanted to keep a comma or plus, then also you have an, you know, comma. Okay. In that way. If you wanted to keep something customized, you know, as per your requirement, let's say if you wanted to do a plus. Or if you wanted to do a equal to, you can just do that. You can just give the value just like that. Okay. So now firstly, I'm going to show you with the space. Okay. First, first name, space, last name. And what is the variable that you wanted to assign to? Let's give the variable here, which is str full name. Okay. And then put a log message over here. Full name okay let's print that over here perfect first name space last name so in the same way you can give whatever the delimiter that you wanted to okay or a separator, okay? So let's say if I wanted to give a equal to, so it just comes up as equal to. So you have, apart from whatever is provided in the dropdown, you can also give whatever the separator you wanted to provide it. So let's check out that one as well. Okay, this is how it will be done. So these are the two new activities that has become a part of 23.10 release. And also I go, I'm i going to make a separate video on all the other new features of 23.10 release apart from the activities, which may be related to Studio X or so there's, there's a lot of things, other, other orchestrator or assistant, all of that, right? So I will make separate video on that as well. So if you like the video, please give a thumbs up and also do let me know which is your favorite activity out of these two and which one you like the most and which one you think that it will 
help you in your automations so thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next video next time till then stay tuned bye bye